Hello all you beautiful people, how you doing today? This is Lava Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! Today we're still going over immersive engineering and today we're going to start with some of the heavy machinery. So remember to look in your book if you have questions or of course you can ask me um, anything you don't know I will try to find out for you. Uh, but this might help a little bit. Today we're going to go over the metal press crusher and the sawmill how to use them how to hook everything up and everything and i have the layers laid out for you because sometimes when you look in the book it's a little bit confusing uh like the press isn't too bad but like the crusher and uh some of the blocks when they get it's kind of hard to tell sometimes what goes where so that's why i'm doing this all right, so uh, first of all, there's a couple different recipes. So we're gonna need some steel rods, and to make that, we're gonna need two steel ingots, and each recipe makes four. Then we're gonna need steel scaffolding, and we're gonna need a lot of these, uh, but I'll tell you how much to make each of the things we're gonna do. So uh, to make six steel scaffolding, you're gonna need three steel ingots and three of the steel rods. Next, we're gonna need some of the light engineering blocks. Now for this, we're gonna need four of the iron sheet metal, two of the iron mechanical components, and a copper ingot. Each recipe does make four. Next, we're gonna need some redstone engineering blocks, and those, again, four iron sheet metal on the outside, four redstone dust, and a copper ingot. And last recipe we're gonna need is, for this one anyway, is steel for fences. And for that, we're gonna need iron sheet metal and two steel rods. Each recipe does make three. All right, so this is gonna be the base of the crusher, but here's exactly what you're gonna need to make it. You're gonna need 10 of the steel scaffolding, 10 of the light engineering blocks, nine hoppers, eight steel fence, and a redstone engineering block. So this is what your bottom layer is gonna look like. You're gonna put six of the steel scaffolding. Then for the next row, you're gonna do one steel scaffolding, two light engineering, three steel scaffolding for the next, and then three light engineering for the next. And then for the next row, again, I always start from one side to the other. It makes it easy for assembly. So on this side, we're gonna go redstone engineering block, light engineering block, and nothing. Then we're gonna do fence, 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 light engineering, fence, fence for all three of these again, and then all three light engineering blocks. And then for the top row on top of where the fencing is you're going to put those nine hoppers. Uh, if you have to, you will shift click in order to get them to stay up there. All right. And that's what it's going to be. And this is what it looks like when you hit it with a hammer. So let me show you. You're going to hit this one right here, this steel fence post. And once you hit it, it's going to become our structure. Now again, if for any reason you need to move it or something, just break one single block. Any block you break, just remember which one you did so you can put it back down. All right, so here is our crusher. And the crusher is pretty cool. If you get up top, you can see this is pretty cool. Anything you throw in here though, it will crush. It's good, but it's also bad. If you throw something that doesn't belong in here, such as fluid pipes. Uh, where are you not going? Uh, I don't think I turned it off and got power. Okay, so it's just not going to do anything with those fluid pipes. So those we can pick back up. Will it do it with the fence? No. Uh, there is some stuff you can put in here, like the ingot. Oh, did it really crush the ingot? Okay, hold on. So other than what we just put in here, I put a stack of iron ore in here and it gives us two stacks of iron grit, nine nickel grit, and that three iron is from, wait, let's see. 
if we throw one more in. So it gave us one iron grit per one versus for one ore, iron ore, it's going to give us two. And what did I have in here? Oh, this is just uh, so I can show you different stuff. You can throw in uh, gold. You can throw in iron. You can also throw in a stack at a time. But you just got to be careful that you don't throw in stuff that you want. That it doesn't crush in here. Because if you do that, it will actually get rid of them. There are certain items if you throw in here, it will just disappear. Won't give you anything, won't do anything. So we'll we'll come back to this and see how much. But it should be two stacks of gold grit plus any uh, side stuff. Which I don't believe salt, gold has a side thing. Unlike the iron has nickel for the side. Alright, we're, we're going to let this run. Uh, some things you might want to know. This is the output. I have a... Um, oops. I have a uh, conveyor belt there just going into there. It doesn't need an extraction conveyor belt because that is an automatic output where the orange dot is. Underneath here is an orange dot and that's for power. So just connect your power. Just for uh, tutorial purposes, I'm just using the creative capacitor. But you know, you'll by now you'll have your power set up. So you would just use that. And that is it. The crusher is pretty simple. Uh, it takes a little bit to build it, quite a bit, obviously. Uh, but it, I mean, it doubles your stuff. Look at that. Now it's working on the second stack. All right, we'll come back to that and see how much it produces. Because we have a couple uh, recipes that we're going to need for this one. This one is the sawmill. Okay, so first of all, we are going to need some steel mechanical components. You can do those the way I showed... Oh no, here. You can do it two different ways. Uh, four steel plates and a copper ingot gives you one. Or over here, four steel plates and two copper ingots gives you two. So, doing them in the engineer's workbench, of course you need the engineer's blueprint. Uh, but you can actually make these in some packs. Some packs do not allow this. But um, default... I mean, most packs I play, you can't make them. You have to find them, like, at villages and dungeons and stuff. Uh, but default, there is a recipe. So a copper ingot, aluminum ingot, iron ingot, three blue dye, and three paper will give you an engineer's blueprint. But, like I said, most packs uh, do not allow you to make them. You have to find them. All right, the other recipe is a steel plating uh, I mean the steel sheet metal, and that is four steel plates. Makes one. Next recipe we're going to need is the heavy engineering block. So for that we're going to need four of the steel sheet metal, four of the steel mechanical components, and an electrum ingot. And recipes that I don't go over, like electrum and all that, um, that's because I covered them in the previous tutorials on immersive engineering. So if you need to, go ahead and check those out. And then we're also going to need a saw blade. So for that, we're going to need four steel ingots and four steel plates. All right. Now, to make this sawmill, you're going to need eight of the steel scaffolding, six light engineering blocks, four conveyor belts, two heavy engineering blocks, four iron sheet metal, and a saw blade. All right. And let me put the saw blade down here and clear the weather because of course wouldn't it be one of the tutorials here if we didn't have to clear the weather all right so you're going to start out with three of the steel scaffolding and then i do it uh, a little bit differently i try to put the blocks down at the same time so for instance i would put down the three scaffolding and then two in the middle and then three skip a space and three down here but then you want the three in light engineering. You can always pause if you need to during any of this. And then the heavy engineering block goes here. And then the three iron sheet metal. And then for the next one, we're going to put a redstone engineering block. A conveyor belt. And somehow these got turned. 
but they want to go you want them to go that was weird when I reloaded they all turned and now they're all going backwards huh anyway you want to uh, when you place them down you want to make sure they're going that way um, but then you want the three light engineering blocks in the back, the heavy engineering block here, the iron sheet metal, and the three conveyor belts. That is it for the sawmill. This is what it looks like once you hammer it. You're going to hammer it on this block right here. So if I just... Wait, am I wrong? It's because these messed up. Hold up. All right, they need to be facing. See, why are they? What in the world? Okay. There we go. That block right here. I don't know why it was lagging. Now, this is what it looks like when you make it. However, it's missing a very important thing the saw blade. So what you're going to do is you're just going to right click and it places the saw blade in the machine. Now, if you cut it wood without a saw blade, it makes stripped oak logs. And apparently I killed a, <laughs> a zombie on it. It's fine. Um, so it'll make these stripped oak logs in order to make the other sawdust that we want. And it gives us the sawdust here. Apparently more rotten flesh. All right, so we're gonna put. Um, I am running out of room. Um, this is gonna be your output again, where the orange is. If you wanted to put a lever here, right here, you could to turn it off. And then uh, here is where your output's gonna be. You do not need anything; it'll automatically go into here. So. But here is where you're going to need to set up something to go in. Um, I tried to place it where it was just directly against it and that did not work. So I have my storage with the extractor conveyor belt coming out. So in here we're going to put a stack of oak logs. And the animation of it is really, really cool. So it's stripping it first. But because we have the saw blade on, it strips it and then it turns it into the oak planks. So you're going to see from one stack, it should make six stacks of planks, which is pretty cool because on a lot of packs, they nerf how much wood you get. And then you can also see we're also getting sawdust. So with the sawdust, you can use it to make extra things. Um, no, I want uses. There we go. You can make paper and you can make sawdust flooring, but you can also use it to cook with if you want to. But it's just the byproduct, so make sure you have an output here for the byproduct of sawdust, and then you need an output here for your actually planks. Two, three, four, yep, six stacks of planks, which is pretty awesome, because normally that is not anywhere close to what you get. All right, this should be done by now, so let's take a look. There we go. So gold does not have a byproduct. Um, but let's take all this iron and stuff out and while we're going over the last one, I will throw in, there we go, I'll throw in the iron ore and we'll let that process. Alright, um, one thing I didn't go over here, here's where you're going to hook up your power. Um, if I take it off here you can see there's an orange button. Not really a button, but it just tells you where you want to be placing it. And so that just serves as the indicator. That's what it looks like on all the machines. Whenever you see that orange part, uh, that's where you're going to put your... I use the medium capacitors, uh, but you can use whatever power you're using. So that is the saw blade. And again... Uh, you can automate everything so I could have stacks and stacks of wood in here 
you know, I can put another 30 that I had in my inventory and it'll keep processing everything, which is kind of nice, which is kind of what this whole mod is all about. Getting your power going, setting up like factory type settings. It's really awesome, to be honest. All right. Last is the press. And the press is pretty cool. So for this, we're going to need two conveyor belts, two steel scaffolding, one heavy engineering block, one piston, and one redstone engineering block. All right, so for this one, it's pretty easy because it's a simple one. Uh, you're going to use steel scaffolding, engineer, uh, redstone engineer block, and a steel scaffolding. On top of each of the scaffoldings, you're going to put a conveyor belt. In the middle part, you're going to put a piston, but the piston, if you try, uh, do I have one in my inventory? No. All right. Uh, if you try, not that, damn it. If you try to, uh, put the piston down regular, it's going to go like that. And even if you hit it with the hammer, it's not going to do anything. So what you have to do is put a block down, even the piston, and put the heavy engineering block on top. So then you're going to break the piston again. Well, you would hit it with the pickaxe to pick it up. And you're going to go from the break one down and go so that way the piston should be facing down. If it's not facing down, it's not going to work. This is what the machine looks like when it is fully formed. So, of course, you're going to hit the piston block right there. And ta-da, we have our engineering press. And, of course, if we break it again, then it just breaks it. There you go. All right. So, here is where you would put a lever if you wanted to. And then up top here is where you connect your power, like so. All right. So, this one, we just have an output here. Um, I have not put an input here, but you could. Now, this one actually takes presses, which is where this comes in handy. So, I don't know what that's there for. But for this, you're going to need steel plates and engineer's wire cutters. Three steel plates will make any of these, but you will need three steel plates for each one. So, for instance, I made... Which one did I make? I made the... Did I make the, I made the plate in one. So to attach it, whoops, let's do this again. Cause I could probably show you how to attach it. It's probably a good idea. So let's make the plate one. There we go. And as you see, when I made it, it took a little durability and now I need three more plates to make any of the other ones. All right. So after you form it, then you are simply going to click. You don't have to shift click, just click on this little part right here and it'll put the little plate there. So then what we're gonna do is for this instance, we're gonna try to make iron plates. So every one will make one plate. Let's do that again so you can see. It's not any different than if you do it with the hammer because if we do it with the hammer uh, it'll still make one however you can automate it so if you know you're gonna need a lot like for instance to do some of these machines we need steel so I can actually put a whole bunch here because the conveyor belts have an inventory and it'll sit there and it'll make them and pull one off of this little stack here and keep making them which is pretty cool. And then you can just, it's a good way to automate everything. Cause then I could just go in, um, I can pop down, say I need 15 for a recipe. There we go. I popped down 15, make sure you don't pick up any. Uh, so just make sure you don't pick any up by accident. So like for instance, stay back here or something. Or if you have flight, I like to fly above it and do it. And then I can go do something else to prep for whatever I'm doing, come back, and it's all said and done, which is really nice. So this is one, I, I like making this one 
quite a bit. If you're in certain packs, you're probably not going to make this one. Uh, but it does come in very handy and it helps aid to that whole factory vibe. Right? All right. Last thing, let's check on our iron ore here. There you go. One stack of iron ore gave us two stacks of iron grit and five nickel grit. Now the nickel grit does vary a little bit, but that is pretty standard for what it gives you. All right. That is the crusher, the sawmill, and the press. And next time we'll, we will be going over, um, let me see, the refinery, squeezer, and fermenter is what we're going over next time. But yeah, hopefully this is helpful. I'm trying not to overwhelm you too much. Again, if you have any questions or comments, or um, if you just need to pause the video so you can see the layers more effectively, then go ahead. Yeah. If you enjoyed the video, make sure and hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. And it helps out my channel. So thank you very much. If you haven't already, hit, remember to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you can see when all the new videos come out. Until next time, the Slava Temptress, don't get burned.